I'm not old, but I feel that way sometimes. As you get older, you kind of feel like the magic's gone. And the world tends to get a shade bluer with each year. Some people are okay with that progression. Take it as it comes. They understand it. Some people try to move past it and evolve with the passing years. Quietly submitting and trying to look beyond. Some people let it break them. And when they're broke, there's no fixing. If there's anything you need, I'll be here just watching a little TV. Thanks. Hey. What's up with your shirt? What? You had a different shirt on. Since when did you start paying attention to what I wear? I don't know. Just, you notice those things. Worry about your own wardrobe, not mine.
Hey, hey. What? Let's get the hell out of here. These lights are making me feel mental. Here, let me take that. Thanks, man. You look like a piece of shit. Thanks. I feel like a six-pack at a construction site. Did you talk to your bitch since you landed? I don't start with this shit. Did you? It's not a bitch. Oh, I'm sorry. Did you talk to your princess since you landed? Yeah, I called her before I left. No answer. <laughs> hey, what was that that movie we watched in high school? You know, um... What the fuck was that movie? It was about, it had Mormons and, and stunt cocks in it. Uh, Orgasmo. Yes, Orgasmo. You're like the bad guy in Orgasmo. Neutered man. It's the new Billy. You know, it is so nice to have a sympathetic ear close by. Stan, thank you. Thank you for that. calls. If she does, it'll kind of set the bar, you know. Billy! See you, man. Hey. Thanks. Yeah. Hey. Hey. How was your flight? Oh, it was an anxiety attack from start to finish. Barbie house Ken. Billy, I told you that's not funny anymore. Well, I always think it's funny. Hey. Here, let me get that. The only reason I even notice time is you guys, you kids. Other than that, I, I don't notice getting any older. I don't know about that. You guys are starting to look like prunes to me. <laughs> Thanks, pal. Prunes? Not you, Mom. You look maybe a year or two out of college. Oh, good save. Hey, with age comes wisdom. Isn't he a knucklehead? You are a knucklehead. <laughs> Isn't he? <laughs> I should answer this real quick. I'll be right back. Alice, Tom. Let him take it. Hey. Hey, I thought you called. Yeah, yeah, I did. I just wanted to see how you're doing. You know, how you're feeling. I'm good. There's nothing to report. Come on, Alice. I just need to balance things out a bit, okay? Right, so moving out of the state constitutes balance. You know, I... I just want to see where I'm at. Well, you're not here. You know, I can't do this. I can't talk like this. You know, we just... We shouldn't... I don't think we should talk. I, I need to, okay? I need to right now. You know, your voice... It reminds me that I'm... Breathing. Stop. It was in your hands. Okay, listen, we cannot talk for now, okay? We can. Just please give it a chance. Give it a second, all right? I'm not officially moved out of the state yet. I can come back. Okay, maybe, maybe if you come back, <laughs> then we can talk in person. But. I told you before, this whole phone thing, I can't do it. I just... It's just not me. Shit, Billy, this fucks up my whole week. I've got school, and I just... Alice, please. Please, just, just hear me out. Billy, are you okay? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Baby. It's a little time and we'll have a thousand. <laughs> you make me sound like I'm gonna lay a spider egg and we're gonna have them everywhere, making webs on our bed, crawling all over you, saying, Daddy, take care of me. <laughs> <laughs> well, maybe four then. I can do four. Four is doable. I think you can handle 36 months of pregnancy? Hmm. 
Okay, maybe two. I think it'd be two. So 18. Off your ass, baby mama. I can feel you obsessing. Ah, I can't stop. You can. Trust me, you can. Uh, my memories have become like answering machine messages, just looping repeatedly in my head. I just replay them over and over and over again. It sucks. It's totally unintentional. And that's what it's like. They split your skull, worm their way into your brain, making extraction impossible. She's probably finger-fucking herself, knowing you can't stop romanticizing your time together. Well, this isn't helping, Stan. <sighs> Need to go to the bathroom. Helps me. What about me, huh? I mean, I would fucking know. That's what women are and what they do, period. She's a good girl at heart. At heart? She's yeah. selfish. They're all selfish. From what you told me, she's a selfish bitch. They're all worthless. What about Ashley? She was... hey, don't say that name. Why? I said don't. Hey, what the fuck, man? Don't fucking touch me. Be an adult. I mean it. Okay. I'm sorry. Fuck, Stan. I'm just saying, you know, people are people. There's no one way to see them. Everybody's got their shit shuffled differently. No. Women run everything. They do not. Us, the world. For every dictator, there's a woman twisting the life out of his helpless sack, barking orders. That's bullshit, and you know it. Do I? You do. Women... You know, women can make you feel like you're not just a dot on the map. I'd rather take a Norwegian fist pie than be emotionally dependent again. Is that like an Abe Lincoln? Well, it's closer to a donkey punch. When you're fucking a girl and you pull out abruptly as you're about to blow. I think I've heard enough of these to know where this is going. You think? I know we're good, that's for sure. Oh, fuck. What? I pissed on my shoe. I need to concentrate. are depressing to look at. I broke up with my girlfriend. Oh. How long? Uh, five years. Sorry to hear that. What's your excuse, Light Bright? Fuck off, Cindy. No, I'm talking to Billy. He has no interest in speaking with you. Sam, yes I do, relax. Well, I don't. I can see Ashley's been hard at work, again. There's something in your tiny brain that rejects my request for you to leave. Oh, it is Ashley. Ashley did something to you. That girl brings out the worst every time. I can see her in your eyes. Take a hint, bitch. You can't lump all women together because you're a doormat. I'm not Ashley. You have a slip between your legs. And you're about to have one too if you don't shut your fucking mouth. It's a fucking joke. Is it? You know, work on your attitude. And then maybe I'll accept your apology later. I'll catch up with you later when you're not with this cocksucker.
tell you right now, this isn't working for me, okay? Can't help how I am. This isn't you. It's me now. Down to the bones. It's me now. Oh, it's making my situation a whole lot harder. That's the truth, Stan. It's making it a lot harder. Okay. I'll take you home. Take you home. Don't bring that up. Don't. Stupid bitch. Here, what do you want? Uh, it's 2 a.m., I'm drunk, and I'm not coming over. You knew I went out, that's why you're calling about me. No. Why'd you go fuck your little men ass a slut? Yes, you did sleep with her. Sarah told me that you screwed her in the... Well, that's what Sarah said, and I believe her. Just say that. You know what? I think my phone's dying. I'm sorry. Uh, beep, beep, beep. Bye bye. My feet are your the feet size are of your dainty head. dainty and graceful. Did you know? I did. Come on. <laughs> 
Okay, Stan called. Yeah, what did he say? Said that he wants you to stop by the store later. Said you need to talk, or he needed to talk to you. Yeah, he kind of caught me off guard last night. He's acting like a royal asshole. Said to say sorry about that, too. Is there a reason he didn't leave this on my cell? He didn't say. He sounded kind of uneven. Didn't joke around with me like he usually does. Just sounded like a straight line. Like what? You won't even talk to me. You don't even know how to talk to me. I, I dated you for five fucking years, Alice. I, I spent days and nights quieting, counseling endless conflicts. Okay, I know how to talk to you. So you just give it up? I don't know what else to do. Sorry. Hey, Stan. Knock. What? Knock next time. Do we have any more of the Alpine 9887s? No. It's just, we got this easy kill out here. What do we have? Sell him a Sony? Oh man. Everybody knows Sony makes shit. So sell him a Sony. Do you work here or do you work here? So, so I think, I think this looks good. I mean, uh, Alpine, Alpine's, uh, Alpine's good, right? I just talked to my manager. We've been yanking those bad boys out all month. <sighs> uh, uh, well, I'm glad you went, I'm glad you went back there then. That's, uh, that's good. No, definitely. I mean, I'm glad too. Let me show you something else. Ever since the last time you saw Ashley, it's just been flat. I mean, they've been broken up for months. Yeah, I know. But when he went out with her, he didn't give any details. He just left. Did they fight? I don't know. My luck in that department's minimal. I just don't know what to say. Well, it's not about what you say, man. You need to change your wardrobe. Well, my mom sends me this stuff. Tell her to stop. Chris, you made a pretty good sale. You taught him well. Yeah, I can see that. Just tell me something. What is this shit? What shit? This shit. All this, this whole attitude. 
What did Ashley do to you? What did I say about mentioning her name? Why can't I mention it? I know her too, okay? You dated her for five goddamn years. She's part of my personal history too. She's part of history, which is where I would like her to remain, so I will ask you again, please, don't mention her. We're fucking friends, Stan. You hear me? We're friends. I hear you. So you can tell me if there's something I need to know. And I will tell you if there is something that you need to know. Fine. Wait, like, stop! You know what? I can't even fucking talk to you right now. What if something happened to Alice? What did you say? If something happened to Alice. What do you mean? Uh, would you be heartbroken or would you feel forced to move on? Are you out of your motherfucking mind? Just answer the question. No, I'm not gonna answer it. This is crazy, she's in fucking school, Stan. She's not in the Middle East. Her environment is more than sound, she's fine. Just, just trying to lend a hand. You know, I, I, I came here because I thought that we could talk. Like friends do. Um, I think uh, is the Italian sub any good? Do you like Italian subs? Usually. Then yeah, it's good. Okay, uh, I'll take that and a medium drink, please. Great. And so the search begins for a young woman of 24. Her name is Ashley Detweiler, and she has not been seen for almost two days. Sources say the last person to see her was a coworker when she left her office at the end of the day. Angela Reynolds reporting, Fairfax, Virginia. So, let me get this straight. You, you think that you could actually kill somebody in cold blood? You bird shit off yellow? No, you can't. You're full of shit. Probably. You think in middle school those Columbine kids knew they were gonna massacre the student body? I don't think so. They were probably just normal kids who watched Power Rangers and in TV when they played actual music, that is. <laughs> I know, right? I mean, if someone isn't born, and I'll insert opinion saying I don't think anyone is, but if someone isn't born a killer, how do they reach that point, you know? How does, I mean, what happens, you know? I know, subconscious rip, animalistic rage, who really knows? I just think if you get there, you get to that point, you know? Most people don't, but if you do, you do. Fuck, I don't know. Let's hit up some beer pong. Teams? Uh, yeah, find a couple of wet parts. Cell phone, leave me a message. 
Alice. Um, yeah, never mind. I uh, shouldn't have called you right now. I'm sorry. Oh, man. Can't believe how bad I railed that customer today. I mean, Sony explodes. The guy had no idea. Well, you learned from the best. Yeah. I will say you're the best salesman I've ever seen. But you have to admit, I mean, I'm all right. Yeah, you're all right. So what exactly were you saying to Billy earlier? You sure seemed to have gotten him going. I didn't get him going. I mean, we were just talking about you. What did you two hose bags have to exchange about me? What? What kind of way is that to refer to your friends? I mean, we're your boys, Stan. We talk because we care about you. Yeah, you talk because you have nothing else to talk about. No, we don't. If you want me to say it, fine. I'll come right out and say it. Where's your blue shirt? My what? The blue shirt you wore to see Ashley. Just get in the car, Christian. No, there's gotta be a reason that you don't wanna talk about this. Why? Tell me this grand significance. Why do I need a reason? People just don't change clothes after they go out. It's weird. No, it's not. Yes, it is. It's not. It is not. The blue wasn't cutting it, so I went with black. All right, I keep an extra one in my trunk in case I wanna go someplace after hockey. Is that okay with you? Yeah. Is that a fucking problem with you if I change my shirt, Christian? No. Now, if you don't get in the car right now, we're gonna have a big fucking problem. Are you listening to me? I mean, listen, I, look, I understand. Just shut I mean, the maybe... fuck up for one second, okay? I'm trying to say something to you. Now, I'm gonna give you the five to get in the car. What? Stanley, man. What's going on with you? I mean, if something happened and you don't want me to... <laughs> Your mother and I were just watching the news. Did you? Yeah, I saw. Earlier today, I saw. Stanley seen her lately? I don't know. He doesn't really want to talk about it. Well. As you well know, breakups involve a great deal of pain and, and, and confusion. Yeah. Well, shit, though, look. I've said it, my father said it to me. If it's meant to be, love will find a way. And if it's not, there's a half a world of women out there Wait for Billy Fleetback. Thanks, Dad. Of course, when my dad said it to me, he said, Tommy Cleepack, but you know, it's all the same. It's a real hard thing, aligning yourself with someone for the long run. Harder than one would think. Get up. Hey, get your ass up. Christian, you okay? Oh, stop hitting me, man. Where's the store? Off of Interstate 95, where it's always been. <laughs>
with that palm olive? Yes. I have Bactine in my room, dude. Palm olive is antibacterial. Let me clean your cut. Just be still. What happened? Look at your shoelace. No way. There's no way I tripped on my own shoelace. Don't be so hard on yourself. It's a common joke because it happens. You didn't take me to the hospital? It's an asshole move. Watch yourself. I'm the one cleaning the wound on my head with dish soap. I should be mad. tomorrow. Stan, did you talk to her, to the police, to her family? Vegas for a trade show. My job. <sighs> oh my god, you're fucking making me feel crazy here, Stan. Do you think you're crazy? No, I'm... I'm... <laughs> like she might have made you feel crazy? No, Stan, you are doing it, okay? You won't tell me what happened, how the conversation went, how it concluded. I don't give a Christ fuck about your traveling or any other bullshit throwaway conversation you want to bring up, okay? I want to know what happened to Ashley now. Do you think you might be projecting your worries onto me? I mean, you were quick to come back here. Maybe you were glad to be out. Maybe you didn't love her. No, I did love Alice, Stan. I loved Alice very much. Maybe you didn't. You sure jetted quick when things got rocky. You can damn well bet I didn't do that with Ashley. Hi there. I have a flight leaving in uh, an hour and 45 minutes. Can I get my ticket? Yes, sir, of course. Name, sir? Stanley Harold Keller. There you go. Just give me a minute to look you up, Mr. Keller. I can help you out. Gladly. So do you have some kind of meeting in Cleveland? Business or pleasure? Oh, uh... Just uh, assessing a situation, drawing conclusions, weighing options. Ah, you're in insurance claims. Oh, yeah, uh, in certain respects. Thank you. Billy! Hey, how goes it? Sam, hey. 
Need a break from Ohio? Oh, yeah. Um, you know, Alice and I, we broke up. That's tough, man. I was wondering if you could tell me when Stan might be back. Well, it's a good question, man. I don't know. What do you mean? Well, he didn't show up today. He's in Vegas, though. He is? At the trade show. It's news to me. Well, there's no trade show. If there was, I would be there. And Stan would have his took his park right here, clipboard in hand. Okay, thanks. Oh, hey, if uh, you hear from Christian, tell him he's going to be knee deep in it if he doesn't give me a call, Plano. You supposed to work today? Yeah. No call, no show. Normally he's prompt, but not today. Christian! Jesus Christ. Hey, Christian. Christian, wake up. Christian, wake up. Give me alone, Stan. No, wake up. Wake the fuck up, dude. It's not Stan, it's Billy. Look at your goddamn pillow. Hey, look at your pillow. I feel like I'm standing with my eyes closed. With Stanley? With everything. With Stan, with Alice, you know? Just I'm fucked. Just, just feel fucked. We'll figure things out with Stan. But I really think you should call Alice. No, if I call her, it's just gonna make things worse. No, it won't. Yes, it will. I'm me, and I know that it will. You can't compare her situation with what's going on with Stan. I mean, they're different. He just makes me feel like I tripped up somewhere along the way, you know? Like, I don't want to be like him. I don't want to, I don't want to feel what he's feeling. You're not like Stan. Yeah, I know that. I know. Hurt can affect people in strange ways. I see Stan, and I'm afraid of what I might become. He can't even see five feet in front of him now. That's not you. I love the guy. He's got tunnel vision. I just... I see his hurt. I feel it. I understand it. God. Where 
Where is he? Who the fuck is he? Somewhere I'm not sure he can come back from. Excuse me. Yes. Hi there. Hey. I'm uh, sort of lost. I was wondering if I could borrow you for a second. Sure. Well, I'm, I'm looking for the uh, psychology building. I graduated about a half a decade ago. I just, <laughs> I don't know. It just seems like everything gets changed and relocated every couple of years. What year did you graduate? Uh, 2002. Did you have Grenier? I think so. Yeah. I kind of felt like I was swimming in the wrong pond, if you catch my drift. I mean, I was younger, and bar life seemed more appealing. Yeah, he definitely sounds familiar, though. She. <laughs> she sounds familiar. Yeah. She. You gonna help me out, or...? Do your second year psychology classes give you some sort of heightened awareness that prevents you from pointing your finger? Yeah. The building's over there. That wasn't so hard. Hello. Hello. All right, man. I'm gonna grab Barbie. I'll swing back by. Sounds good. Trade show. Alpine's got some great decks coming out next year. I know you're not in Vegas, Dan. Do you? I talked to Sam. I say I am. Sam's got to get his head straight. Sam's not the one you need to worry about. Is that so? Yeah. It is. When you get back, we need to talk, Stan. Well, I'll be back soon. Quiet for a trade show. What are you outside? Everyone needs to catch a breath of fresh air. Maybe you need one. Quit talking to me, Co. Communicate, motherfucker. Why I gotta be a motherfucker? Because I care about my boys? What are you talking about? My boys. You guys. What happened to Christian's head? My motherfucker, because I care? I said, what happened to Christian's head? Why am I spending my afternoons getting Christian fucking stitches, Dan? He's getting stitches? Fuck. If you think I'm gonna believe that shoelace bullshit, you are crazier than I thought. Oh, so now I'm a motherfucker and I'm crazy. Hey, Stan. I think I'm gonna have to let you go. Hey. Pick you up, Pooper, so I'm picking you up. You look morose, Billy. Morose? Bigger vocabulary than I do.
Is that bit girl being mean to you? No, it's it's not always that simple. What is it? I can ramble on about it, but did you have some cartoons or something to catch up on? I tea for them anyway. You wouldn't understand. It's okay. You're you're in elementary school. Well, my dad don't even know how to use TiVo. I do. When you get older, after high school and college, if you go, you start to kind of have an idea of how things need to be. It's part age and part how you were raised, but you want to feel like your life is set. That your friends' lives are set. They're going to be happy. And things don't turn out the way you want, or they're just far worse than you'd hoped, and you feel like your future is non existent. These dreams of cookouts with your friends and dinner parties, they just fade away. future that was never there. The fact is, by my age, you start to see that people are just really sad. That there's nothing you can do about it. Stan said? What do you mean? Mom says that his ex-girlfriend is missing. Uh, I, I don't know. I don't know about Stan. Here, let me take this in for you. Okay. Hey, Barbie. Let's keep this conversation brother sister, okay? Yeah, okay. No Ken either. Ken's plastic Billy. He wouldn't understand English. Silly me. Are you sure you don't want to try and pick it? Are you locksmith? No. Neither am I.
Holy shit, Alice. Stanley? Oh my god, it's been years. Yeah, yeah, it, Hi. it has. Hi. <laughs> What are you doing here on, on campus? I don't... Well, uh, MB Court has a has a base here in town. What's, I don't know what that is. Oh, it's a um, speaker company. Um, Car audio, yeah. So I'm just, just checking out the new line, I guess. You know, always on the move. <laughs> Did you travel alone, or did Billy oh, come no, with you? No, 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 no. Just, just me. It's purely business. <laughs> so, do you mind if I ask what happened with him? Billy? Yeah, yeah. Fill me in. I mean, Billy's... Not much of a talker these days, I guess you could say. Let's just look around. If you see anything weird, just point it out. Just weren't in line anymore. Mm -hmm. He wanted to be a writer, I was into politics. You sound like a deal breaker. No, it wasn't. I just felt like he wanted out. So I initiated it. You know, women usually do. Huh? Oh, nothing. It's just, you know, women kind of make the first move, you know? No, I just mean women are more empowered these days. Which is good. No, it's good. They're, they're making the moves that men used to make, you know? Yeah, I guess. I just, I feel like you only live once, you know? And I'm always gonna love Billy, but I'm not gonna keep loving someone that doesn't love me back. I understand that. I understand that. So, uh, the books are closed and old Billy boy, huh? But yeah, I can't do it anymore. Guess that's, that's right. He's got friends like you, you know? He's got good, solid friends. And they're from more than I can say. So. My God, you were the hottest woman on campus. <laughs> uh, this is Billy's friend, Stan. Awesome. It's totally cool to meet you, bro. <laughs> Would you guys have any interest in that? Uh... Secluded places this uh, state has to offer. What are you saying? Uh, the Holiday Inn. Nice. Yeah, yeah man, we'll, we'll catch the sunset. It'll be stellar, bro. Can you give it an hour? Oh, yeah. So. Maybe you beat the shit out of her, you know? You beat her off really bad. Bad slap, you got some, some blood on his hand, you know? It could be a number of things. No. I don't think so. Maybe it's his blood. Actually, she was she was feisty as hell, you know that. Listen to what you just said. What? Was? You just said Ashley was. And you know what he did. All the denial aside, we know what he did. There has to be some feasible explanation for this. Yeah, there is, Billy. But you have just refused to acknowledge it. Look at it. Just take it. Can you take it? And that's blood. Yeah. There's bloody fingerprints all over that photo. I know, but it, it doesn't... doesn't necessarily mean that. Well, listen to me, man. I'm assuming whatever happened that night, Stan wasn't holding that picture when it happened. He was holding it afterwards. And even after whatever happened, happened, enough blood remained for him to stain that entire picture. No. No fucking way. He wouldn't do that. He would not do that. Stan loved her. And since you saw that news story, Billy, you knew what he did. God damn it, you know. 
And there's no other out for this. There's no other explanation, really. It's what it is. All right, let's just... Let's just take a minute oh, here. Yeah. You really need Can to... we take a minute, please? Just think for a second. It's me. Uh, I know you need some time. Um, I just, yeah, you know, I really want to talk to you right now. You know, it doesn't need to involve us. You know, I, mean, it, I know there isn't uh, an us. I know that. You know, um, I, just, I don't have anyone outside of where I am to talk to. And, um, I don't know, maybe it is, maybe it is about us. Maybe I'm wrong. If you can just hear me out, you know, if you can... I just, I don't want to lose you for good, you know. I'm sorry. All right, I am, I'm, I'm, I'm really sorry. If you could please just call me back. Um, I'm here. I'll be here. Okay. Kelly? You need to go check out Mason's neck. But how do you know? Because I know him. Your leg, it's bleeding. Oh, that? Oh, that, that, that's nothing. No, no, you're, re you're really bleeding. Oh, I'm, I'm a mountain man. Oh. I used to play soccer, too. I don't even notice. <clears throat> I'm fine. Really, I have a... I have a first aid in the car. Oh, I feel, feel a little sick. <clears throat> Doesn't get any easier. At least, at least uh, permanent. You'd think it would, but it doesn't. Oh, I'm okay. Thanks.
sure this is where they came? I said no. Have I did? It's where they could have come? Yes. Everybody has a place. This was theirs. Be pointed out. I think it was right in that opening up there. Well, if not now, never, right? Yeah. Alone, Christian. That's oh. her. her. Oh, oh, God. It's her. You need to you do it. It's gotta be you, dude. No, no, I can't. Just, just open the door for us. We'll, we'll come in there and do the rest. That's not gonna happen. There's no way that's gonna happen. I, I can't. I can't do it. Because she's been looking at you. You think so? I think so. Wow. Come on, you're the best of the world. No oh, shit. You gotta go. Hey. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm gonna have to be your ground support, but I'm no special ops man. Germaphobe. I mean, if you know me, it's different, but. Oh. Yeah. And uh, last but certainly not least, we have. Ashley. Ashley. It's very nice to meet you. It's very nice to meet you, Stan. Okay. Ashley. Uh, me and my friends, uh, guys over there, uh, we were just looking for some nice young ladies to keep us company. You make us sound like hookers. Oh, no, I, I didn't. I'm fucking with him, just fucking with you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah. No, I mean, I, I could tell. <laughs> it's just... Yeah. So, uh, you game? I make a wicked beer pong partner. Seriously. Is that so? Yeah. Well, unfortunately, I only play with my girls as my teammates. You ready to get squashed? Oh, we'll have to see about that. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, you girls can really play. <laughs> I wasn't lying to you, kid. Wait, wait, how, how old are you again? 19. Yeah, well, I'm 20, and I say you can't call me kid, because I'm older. Is that so? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, I always make the rules. Oh, do you know? Mm-hmm. Interesting. The important ones. Look, I, I don't know who you think you are. What do you but mean? I, I don't know if that's going to work. for me. I have to call the police. You will. I think we should now. if it was someone that I loved that much, as much as he loved her. I don't think you know if you can until it happens. People don't plan these things, killing someone you care so much about. Call you when it gets back? Yeah, if he gets home in the next few hours, I guess, but I doubt he will. Yeah. Just gonna go hit the couch. Yeah, I know this is all hard to process, you know.
lose something? Stanley. When did you get back? An hour ago. Oh. Cool. Why are you so nervous? I'm not. It's just I, I lost something. Something my grandma gave me. A trinket? From your grandma? Yeah. It was a little necklace chain. I, I bent over and it, it popped off. How do you lose a necklace chain when you don't wear a necklace? No, it, it was in my pocket, and I just got it. Your grandma's been dead. So if your grandma's been dead, how did she manage to give you a fucking necklace chain? I don't, I don't know. You're lying to your best friend's face! Please, Stanley. Let me call you some help, man. No. Stanley, I'm gonna call you some help. No! No, 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 no.
Oh no. No, 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 no. I don't stop. Really? Just stop. Okay. Stop. I didn't try. You didn't try? No. It just happened. <laughs> it seems like there's been a lot of stuff. It's been just happening lately with you, Stan. It has. What are we gonna do? What do we do? There's no way. There's no me, okay? There hasn't been one since you killed Ashley. All right, there hasn't been one since since I got back here. Fuck, man. Christian. I got you, man. I didn't, I didn't want to. I, I, I did, but I didn't want to kill Ashley. I loved her with all my heart. This isn't doing anything for me, Stan. Just hear me out, Ashley. That's all I'm asking. This is our spot, and there is no us. Don't you understand? Just come with me. All right, come on. This just isn't fair. How? This isn't fair to me. What if John saw us here with him, Stan? Huh? What if he saw us coming here? Fucking kick his ass. Now, what requires this backdrop? Why drag me out here? Don't be like that. Be like what? You dragged me out here. Come on, Ashley. I'm trying to extend myself a bit here. <laughs> it's a little late, friend. Why? You're my friend at best, Stanley, and I'm not even sure you can handle that. I have something that I want to ask you, but I need you to just hear me out, okay? Okay. Okay. No. Oh. Shit, I left it in the car. What? You left what in the car? It's unbelievable. Nothing. It's just...
I got all mixed up. I like my, my mind, it's all mixed up. Don't justify. There. On the table. It's an envelope. Take it. Stop, don't, don't look inside of it. I wanna say something to you. I wanna, I, I wanna tell you something, okay? I want you to kill me. I need to die. No, you don't, you don't, um, you don't understand. I put that there so you could have closure. I did sick things. Sick things. Unforgivable, which is why it's only fair that you, that you kill me. Man, I felt like I was you, like, I feel like I was you, and I was protective. I thought I was, I was protecting you. I thought... This I told you, my heart. I wanted to talk to her for you. I thought, I thought, I thought I could fix what. What I is this mean? I'm sorry, Bill. I didn't want to do it. No. 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 The ring in her eye. The fucking ring in her eye. What the fuck does that mean, huh? She, she didn't love you anymore, Billy. I checked. How did you check? How did you fucking check, huh? How did you check, Stanley? How did you fucking check? She told me. There's no way to justify the decisions being lost brings. A single moment can unbalance. A single choice can destroy. But it's experience that makes us who we are. And how we process pain that defines us. <laughs>